I'm a uh, firearms instructor for the last 29 years and also a SWAT team member for the last 29 years. We're here today to try out a new ballistic clipboard. Uh, seems like a great idea. The clipboard itself is about as lightweight as a normal clipboard and we're going to try a couple of our uh, different duty rounds to see how they perform. Really impressive results. It stopped all three rounds. Uh, we actually put three of those rounds right on the same clipboard. Had no difficulty uh, stopping any of the rounds, including the 45 after multiple hits. So uh, I'm really impressed by the clipboard itself. It actually catches the round when it's hit, and it's really impressive. It's really exciting uh, new piece of equipment for street level officers to uh, really have available to them. I'm Benson from the Lacombe County Sheriff's Office in Salisbury, Maryland. I've been with the Sheriff's Office for 12 years and I'm a veteran of the United States Army. I'm the lead fire instructor for the Sheriff's Office and assistant SWAT commander. The last round fired was a 40 caliber 165 green Smith & Wesson round from a Springfield XT40 semi-automatic handgun. Uh, it did not penetrate the ballistic notepad. One round from 185 grain spear gold dot 45 caliber ammunition, which is our duty ammunition. And it also has failed to penetrate the ballistic clipboard. I like it. This is our duty ammo. If deputies ever disarmed, this might be uh, might save their lives being shot at with their own duty ammo. It was a dead center, center mass shot. And uh, it didn't even penetrate, it's still rattling around in there somewhere. After watching this take five separate rounds and none of them penetrating, going everywhere from a 9mm to one of the strongest handguns in the world, the 44 Magnum, without penetration, I'm extremely impressed. One, it's lightweight. Two, it can be in the deputy's hand on a normal call, it just would add one more layer of protection to his daily duties uh, that's in his hand available should he come in a deadly situation. You got a 12 gauge slug round that that stopped at close range after taking numerous hits from large caliber handguns and we come back at it with a 12 gauge slug and it still stopped it.